Hi everyone, I'm Toby and I'm here with Matisse and she just signed with um, Sony Jai Records. She has her hit single, Better Than Her, right um, out. And so yeah, I'm here to do an in-depth interview. So let's start. <laughs> All right. Um, when the Brit and Alex collaboration ended, yeah. what inspired you to go solo? Uh, just my love of music, you know. She was ready to stop and I wasn't. And, um, you know, it was kind of exciting for me to do it in a different way. You know, I, I always thought of myself as being a like, solo artist when I was younger. And then when my sister decided to do it, it was kind of cool. We could go everywhere together and perform together on stage. And um, it was great. But then she decided she didn't want to do it anymore. And I felt like, okay, well, it's good. We're twins. We did everything together our whole lives. And it's kind of about time for us to step out on our own, you know. So... Definitely wanted to keep it going. Awesome. <laughs> and you say your hit single, Better Than Her, is a girl's anthem. Yeah. What do you mean by that, and what type of message are you trying to send to girls of all ages? Yeah. Um, I don't know. I, I, I always say that with hip-hop like having dominated the music industry mm -hmm. for you know a bunch of years now, I feel that girls don't have the same kind of power as they used to have. So. My whole album and my message that I've been wanting to send and that's been really important to me is just empowering girls and, and knowing your power and your strength and um, feeling like the guy is not so much the prize as you are, you know? Um, and so I, I collaborated with Kevin Rudolph on this right. who, you know, let it rock and I made it. He's such a great anthem writer, you really know? Um, and so, yeah, it worked out. and. Um, yeah, I think it's, it's fun, but it's it really still inspiring. has a positive message, you know. Yeah, because the thing is, like, girls are objectified all the time in songs. That's and right. just, like, degraded. Yeah. And it's like, what type of message are these artists giving them? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so. I think it's time for a change. Go you. Yeah. <laughs> um, and people think you sound a lot like Madonna and Lady Gaga. Mm -hmm. Like, what do you think of these comparisons? Do you at all yeah. agree? Um... I mean, those are good comparisons. It's flattering, you know, that's fine. Um, I don't think of myself like them, you know, I'm never trying to be anybody but me. Um, but if I'm going to be compared to anybody, those are two good people, you know. Um, I think maybe it's more my style um, with Madonna, maybe, because um, I don't think my voice sounds like hers. And, and Lady Gaga, I have a song that I did with her, so maybe that's where that's really it cool. came from. I don't know where that comparison, maybe it's the hair. <laughs> she used to have. But I've had this for a long time. I've had it for like 10 years. So, <laughs> so it's your hair. It's mine, yes. <laughs> Own your hair. Um, and what do you think of Miley Cyrus and like her recent provocative, you know, behavior? Yeah. Like she gave this 45-year-old man a lap dance. Really? I didn't know about yeah, that. Yeah, check that out on our website. Okay, it's I will. It's pretty intense. Wow, that's, that's really strange. Uh, I don't know, I mean, I, I was watching something on, on E! or something where she was saying, you know, I'd like to see you at 20 years, how old is she, 20? Or? She's 17. She's 17? Mm -hmm. Oh, God, wow. <laughs> She's my age. <laughs> wow, I don't know, I, I think that's a bit much, I do. And I, I think you have to be careful, you know, it's what she said, you know, I'd like to see you guys being filmed at, and what you were like at a certain age. Everybody goes through a bad period, but you have a responsibility because you're in the public eye and right. the girls are looking at you to see what you're doing and you're setting an example. Whether you like it or not, that's your job that you chose. And So you can't act however you want to act because people are going to see that and they're going to follow you. And if you're a negative influence, then you're affecting you know, little girls' lives in a negative way and I don't think that's, that's good. And you realize that and you probably keep that in mind whenever you're out yeah, in public. Yeah, it's not me to be really provocative and no. overtly sexy anywhere, you know, uh, it's just not my personality, you know, and I'm not 17 either, so, <laughs> but I just, I don't know, that's never been my thing, and I think we have a lot of that already, and maybe, you know, it's kind of, let's take it away from that a little bit now, I feel like, you need you know? a shift, yeah, seriously, yeah, I think so, um, and also, like, just how do you stay fit, clearly, you're so in shape, just what do you do, what's your diet like, um, I try to be healthy, I just watched, um, Food Inc., uh, a few months Me ago. Too. Really? Yeah, so I'm, I'm off all, I, I was off red meat for a while, and now no chicken, so just fish, pretty much. Um, but yeah, I try to, you know, moderation, obviously, but I, I try to be as, as healthy as I can, and I, you know, I dance a lot, because my performances and stuff, um, and get in the gym as much as I can, do cardio, of course. So, yeah, I have to get back in, I've been out <laughs> for a little while, so. <laughs> you always yeah. have time. Yes. Um, 
Do you have someone special in your life right now? I know this is a yeah. personal question, yeah. but... Not really. It's interest. hard because I've been traveling a lot, you know, and I'm kind of, like, focused on on music for, for the moment, so... Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> moment. <laughs> um, and where do you see yourself in five years? Like, do you have an image in your mind of just who you'll be like in a couple um, years? I hope to be on my own tour. That's my biggest thing, you know? Performing is really the reason that I do it, you know? So... Hopefully by that point, I will be doing a world tour. Hope so too. <laughs> um, like, who is your role model, and do you consider yourself a role model? It seems like, you know, you're really concerned about how you display yourself to young girls, and that's yeah. amazing. Yeah. But do you consider yourself one? And uh, I would like to be. I mean, not yet, unless you know, it's to the people in my life, you know, younger people in my life. But definitely, that's important to me. You know, as as an artist, I'd like to be a good role model. Um, but, you know, I'm not really out there enough to say that I'm a role model. You will Hopefully be I will be, yeah. <laughs> there you yeah. see it. Yes. And what do you think of Lindsay Lohan and just her recent predicament? It's sad. I feel bad for her. I really do. I think that she doesn't have good people around her. I don't think that her mom should enable her like she does. And I just hope that she gets some help. You know, it seems like she really needs to get into rehab or something. It's yeah, not a good situation. Out. Yeah, because she's so good. Like, she's such a talented actress, you know. It's just too bad. Right. Yeah. And, like, what's your biggest fear? I know this is probably just a crazy question, but, like, um, do you have a big fear or something that you're always concerned about? Um, I guess failure would be my biggest fear, you know, in, in anything, you know. Right. Um, I can't think of anything else, like, crazy. I don't have a fear of heights or anything. <laughs> Not like roller coasters. <laughs> no. <laughs> but yeah, probably failure would be, I guess that's pretty natural. Right. That would be my base. And like, how do you define failure? Because obviously there are varying degrees of failure. And Yeah. Um, I don't know, I guess working hard for something and really, really wanting something and it not working out the way that you had planned for it to, to work right. out, you know. But, you know, I try not to think about it too much and just let things happen and just do as much as I can in the direction that I want to go and then... If it works out, it does, and if not, then, you know, I'll Move do on. something else. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. And who would you like to work with in the future, just an artist um, you have in mind? Well, Usher is on my label. He's on Drive, so, and I love his voice. I've loved him for years, so I would love to do something with him. Um, but also maybe a girl, like, I, I was thinking maybe Rihanna. I like her attitude. She kind of comes from that sort of strong kind of perspective, so maybe her. Yeah, and I have um, a duet that Kevin Rudolph and Ryan Tedder from Winter Public mm -hmm. wrote for me, and um, I think that I might be doing it with Cobra Starship. We're not sure, so cool. but I probably shouldn't have said that because I don't know at all if it's definite, but it was that bad. Fingers. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But it'll be somebody soon. That's so really we'll cool. See. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. I really thank appreciate you. you coming here. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Bye, Hollywood Lifers. <laughs> that was Matisse, and just check out her new single, Better Than Her. Yes. Bye, guys. Bye.